Hello, and welcome to another episode of Locks on the Ball. And today, I'm excited to bring you guys Ghost Sex Covert Haze for the Galaxy A21. Let's take a look at it. In case this is your first time watching this channel, welcome. And get ready because Ghost Tech has eight different styles of cases and we're gonna be covering them all along uh, the rest of the year. Hopefully if I have time, uh, you're gonna see all of the cases. And in addition to that, prepare yourselves for just about the most aesthetically pleasing packaging I have ever seen on pretty much anything. Again, I 100% feel that this was made for me. I feel that this speaks to me. I don't know if it's my age group. I don't know if it's what I grew up with. I don't know if it's because I'm a guy. I have no idea. All I know is it's shiny, it's glossy. Everything about this speaks to me. I love the holographic name tag that says Galaxy A, I mean, says Samsung A21. And you think to yourself, well, I have a Samsung A21. Let me go check it out. You can also see the case inside of it with a little clear plastic window. I'm also a huge fan of there's a little magnetic clasp that holds the whole thing together and it makes it just feel really smooth and just very, very different than the majority of case I have seen out there. Also, you have a little QR code that you can scan so that you can see what your case looks like in action. You can see it being put into uh, a device so that you can have a better idea of what the phone or what the case will look like once it's on the phone. So you just don't have a static image of just the case itself. And once you flip it around the back then you can see a little, a little few more details about it. And then again, that has a raised camera lip that it has a kickstand. Usually covert cases do not have a kickstand, so I'm not sure if maybe it's an older model and they chose to remove that, but they typically don't have a kickstand design, but this one has one. And let's go ahead and pop it open. Oh, it's not going to slide out. There we go. I thought I just caught. Okay, so... Usually with these, you always get a little ghost sex sticker and it tends to be matte black. So I'm a huge fan of that uh, to help build some of that brand loyalty. Okay, let's go ahead and put this in there. Okay, and here we have the case itself. Um, it is a silicone back so that you are able to appreciate the color of your phone with a thermoplastic polyurethane sides uh, so that it can absorb and help cushion some of those impacts and also uh, you see those four red corners, that is going to be Golstex R2X proprietary impact absorbing technology. So let's go ahead and uh, put our phone in there. So this is what our phone will look like once it's inside the case. Okay. So for this one, um, we can see that uh, starting at the top, uh, there is no indent, there is no cutout for the, uh, for the earpiece as there is no need for one actually. You can see how far away removed the earpiece is from the actual edge of the case. So there's no need for one there. That's exactly what I was looking for earlier. And I am a fan of the fact that the whole edge of the phone is raised. It seems to be maybe a millimeter and a half, two millimeters. So that if the case happens to fall flat on its face, it's not gonna crack, it's not gonna go, you know, right away, it's not gonna be the first thing to break right away. However, if you drop it and it happens to fall on a rock or something, you know, it's gonna impact and hit the screen in a weird angle, probably not gonna work. Um, let's go ahead and feel the buttons. Um, so the buttons usually tend to be pretty well accessible on these covert cases. I never ever have an issue with them. However, it seems to be that my dummy is having, uh, 
issues with its buttons as this is not a real phone. You guys didn't even know that though. On the very left side of the case, we can see that it has a very aggressive diamond pattern to help with grip. If we continue over to the top, we can see that our cutout for our pinhole microphone is nice and dead center. So our microphone is not going to be uh, obstructed or impeded in any way, shape or form. And on the right side, we can see that our buttons are not going to be impeded in any way, shape or form as covert cases typically tend to have a very nice accessible view of them. And we can keep going further along and see that we can see the name of the case, covert. And if we go towards the bottom, we can see our cutout for our headphone jack, nice and center. Same thing with our pinhole microphone and also our cutoff for our type c port and we can see that our speaker holes were not neglected either so now the moment of truth let's go ahead and test out this little kickstand that again i pretty sure got removed from other models of uh covert cases but actually this is not plastic this or at least it doesn't feel like plastic it feels it has a nut wow it's not as clicky as it sounds, actually. Um, it has a smoother feel to it. Like, the spring on it is kind of weighted. I'm not sure how to describe that. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and test out the kickstand. Uh, it's a very nice angle, very gentle angle uh, for you to be able to watch your movies at. And I think, does it? Uh, fortunately, does not work uh, if you wanted to stand it up uh, vertically. So it looks like it only works, uh, it only works in landscape mode. Okay. Uh, but, I mean... Because of how little it opens up, um, there we go, in relation to the phone, I don't think this can actually get damaged because if I were to drop it like that, it's just gonna close. There's absolutely no chance of this thing breaking. I mean, not that I can see. That's a very, very good design. You know, like it even dug into my table right here. But I don't, I don't see that breaking. That's actually, it's pretty good. I don't know what, I mean, I can see why they removed it, maybe just for a cleaner look, but that's actually a pretty clever kickstand design. It's it's more robust than the other ones on the other cases. I, I don't know. Gosek, you need, you need to bring this back. Why didn't you take this out? This seems to be a much more robust kickstand system than the ones on the, what is it, the Iron Armor? What else did we have? I have, I think that's all I've covered and obviously the Coverts, right? But, Jesus, this, this is not gonna break. This hardly opens, this, what is that? That's, that's literally a 45 degree, that's not even a 45 degree angle, that is, that's less than that. You know, I, I do see some cracking. I think this is a, uh, it's a magnet and I think I kind of cracked it Oh, well, you guys can see that, um, but that's so good though. I mean, there we go. Okay, so I can see that it's finally failed, right? And that was after so many dropped attempts, right? But it didn't break. It just kind of popped out and simply popped it back in. And I think it's, it should still be as good as new, I mean, not as good as new, but it should still be able to perform. I'm impressed. So that's what I like to see, right? I like to see things fail, right? I like to see things go to the breaking point because you're gonna drop this, I'm gonna drop this, and I wanna see exactly what happens when something like this gives, when something like this breaks. So again, we saw it one more time, we saw that it popped out, but I mean, you can pop this back in. It, it did not break, right? It did not fail. It did its job, it protected your phone, and didn't break on you. It fell apart, sure, but it remains usable. And it's not ugly, it didn't deform too much, actually, it deformed a little bit towards the end, but I'm a fan. It did its job, it still remains functional. I I, I, I don't understand, Ghost Tech, you need to bring this type of um, kickstand back, uh, even though it does fall out. I do understand how maybe it can make something up here cheap, but that's what you want though you want things to fall apart or to come apart so they can be put back together rather than break because uh the iron one of the iron armor ones broke on me um but that's really good design i'm impressed very very good uh and you can find this on both website actually for only 14.98 that's a steal you can't 
you can't beat that usually uh what is it most cases that you have uh kind of start off at 24.99 if you look at something like quick sell which is what is offered at most retailers such as metro it mobile um their cases start at 24.99 and it's not nearly as rugged it's not nearly as nice and the kickstands are nowhere near this sturdy okay they they give and you guys saw how much it took for this to give and it still remains functional after giving and after being put back together and to reiterate you can find this again on the website for fourteen dollars and 98 cents however they're having a sale for this particular model the galaxy 21 as it's a little bit older and you can snag it up for five dollars and 98 cents in three different colors we can see we can have it in clear like what we have right now we also have pink and smoke which is very similar to clear but with a smoky look right and let me know in the comments guys what do you think of ghost tech have you guys given them a chance have you guys um are you guys thinking of giving them a chance uh what are your thoughts on them you know and if you comment and if you subscribe you guys can be entered into the giveaway for the app century tab 2 tablet the moment i reach 750 subscribers i will be giving one of these guys away and as always thanks for watching